what we're looking at here as part of the DCOM software is a typical user's home screen. So what this is, this is our built-in BI pages. These BI pages can have graphical representations of data. They could also have specific data sheet views within the software. You also can identify multiple different home screen views or BI pages that you may want to see within the software. So in this case, this would be maybe an executive view where they can identify income statement information, profitability for customer information, cash flow information, or whatever they may, they may need to see within the system. The key here is each individual user, or maybe even at a group level, or maybe even company-wide, each of those different subtopics could have their own home screen views. The nice thing about these is not just the information that you're seeing in real time, but the ability to drill into the detail. So in this case, I drilled into the detail making up that graph all the way down to a source transaction level. There's also a full audit trail identifying who transacted with these orders, what changes were made, and when were they made within the DCOM software. As we start to look down the left-hand side of the software, what we start to see is all the different areas of the DCOM system. Now, we speak to this as different areas versus different modules or bolt-ons because they're just all part of the core DCOM ERP. So we have our typical sales information, which houses our order entry, our quoting, our pricing, any customer management and forecasting. On the purchasing side, we're looking at vendor management, purchase orders, requisitions, QC on the vendor side or on the purchasing side. Inventory management, which houses our item master, our bill materials, our formulations, our full warehouse management system, which consists of the scanning and barcoding on the production floor as well. On the production side, we're looking at our specific job information, even built-in maintenance, repair, and operations, which allows you to work on your preventive maintenance tasks within the system. And of course, a full accounting side of things, your full AR, AP, general ledger, and all accounting reporting that we may need to see. And then finally, one of the things that we should highlight here is just the built-in CRM tool. So whether it's for managing prospects or customers, or maybe even managing your vendors, there's a full CRM, which is all part of the DCOM software. Also part of a user's experience would be their favorites. So this could be favorite areas of the system, favorite reports, favorite graphs, anything that they wanna have quick access to within the software. Now these are nice for those reports or maybe like a weekly report or a monthly report or a year-to-date report. Something that I don't necessarily need to see as part of my home screen, but I do want to have that quick access to this information as part of my favorites.